Welcome to episode 211 of Report This Post, the podcast about bad posts and bad people. My name's Geiger, and that is Christian. And we're your hosts with the posts. Every week, Christian, myself, or a listener, select a different topic and then find horrible posts for your listening pleasure. And this week's topic, as chosen by a listener named Zach, is dolphins. That's right. The mammals of the sea. <laughs> the fish of the ocean, they call them. <laughs> yeah, the uh, uh, the almost fully evolved uh, closest cousins to us, right? We, yes. We and dolphins are cut from the same cloth, they say. Supposedly, yeah. They're uh, very intelligent. Uh, they're adorable. They like to do tricks for people. And they will uh, violently rape people every once in a while, too, which is... Uh, one of the more, one of their most fucked up tricks they like to do. <laughs> <laughs> they really are like people, don't they? Yeah, that's true. Uh, they're flawed in some ways. Yeah, um, yeah. So dolphins um, don't have a whole lot of opinions about dolphins. More of a more of a whale guy myself. Oh, you're what? What? Uh, humpback? Uh, uh, beluga? As a kid, my favorite whale was the uh, the right whale. Okay. Because. Uh, uh, I think because he was like big and weird looking, and uh, for some reason that kind of kind of resonated with me. <laughs> Odd looking uh, <laughs> barnacles all over his big fat head, a dumb mouth. Yeah. Cool. Yep. Yeah. Uh, hunted for his uh, his fat for <laughs> his blower, of course. Mm-hmm. Yes. <laughs> Who amongst us, right? But yeah, dolphins are cool. Um, you ever run into a dolphin before in the wild? <laughs> you ever hit a dolphin with your car? Uh, yes, I have. While boating, I have seen dolphins uh, jumping about in the uh, in the the wakes of the boat. Mm-hmm. Um, they're a lot bigger than you would think they are. Yeah, that's uh, the they'll thing. get you. Uh, but I've never been. Uh, I've never like swam with dolphins. Right. right? I remember as a kid when I was fishing on a, a pier he, uh, around here, and there was a, a dolphin just right around the, the the pylons of the pier. It was a uh, pretty pretty insane. That's the best I got dolphin wise. <laughs> <laughs> we gotta do a whole episode about these fucking critters for some reason. Uh, and the reason that we're doing it, hopefully, uh, listener Zach can explain exactly what the hell he was thinking with this. Sure, yeah. Zach said, I chose this topic because dolphins seem to be, by far and away, the most degenerate animals besides humans. So I figured there'd be a lot of fucked up posts about them. Well, I would say, based on what we have in front of us here, he was pretty spot on. <laughs> some really weird shit here in this episode. Uh, and just some people that have opinions that... Don't know why they would share them online regarding Boy, you know, this is a good one for that. That is a good, yeah. It's like, there's no reason to even talk about these fucking things, let alone share your controversial take about them. <laughs> but but the it'll fill up. about an hour and a half for us, so that'll be good. Yeah. Now, how did uh, Zach choose this topic exactly? Zach headed over to reportthispost.com, hit that buy topic button, sent us some money, and told us that he wanted us to, to cover dolphins. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you can also choose a, an episode topic... By going over to patreon.com slash report this post, you can join at either the mod level or the admin level. And uh, there are options if you stick around. Eventually, we'll, Christian will send you an email saying, Time's up, motherfucker. You need to pick an episode topic. <laughs> and it's up to you to respond to that email. <laughs> Some people will, decide not to. I will send you anywhere upwards of uh, one to two to six emails, mm-hmm. uh, depending on if you actually check your email or if you actually gave an email. So, Yep. that's Both of those are quite common. Some people will sign up, will give us a lot of money every month, <laughs> and then not even ever check their email or their <laughs> Patreon messages or anything. Don't know what they're thinking, but... Hey, God bless them. 
I encourage everyone to, to pull that maneuver. <laughs> yeah, just keep giving us the money and don't even listen to this show. Just give us the money. Please. There's no reason to listen to this fucking thing. Cool. Well, I suppose we ought to talk about these goddamn dolphins while we're here. Sure, why not? We'll jump into it with a first post from Reddit, title of which is The Internet's Current Hatred Towards Dolphins is Really Annoying and Dangerous. The whole dolphins are the spawn of Satan thing is really fucking annoying and harmful to conservation. The only reason that the dolphin hate trend is even occurring is because it's shocking and their true nature is a far cry from their depictions in movies and shows. Dolphins are animals and we shouldn't judge them by human morality and it's really fucking stupid that we are. Despite what they do, dolphins are still a very unique species with the highest level intelligence, only second to humans. Some would even argue that they're sapient, and if you're willing to let a near sapient species go extinct because some TikToker said they're evil, then you are a horrible person. Philosopher of Sex replied, What? I've been fucking hating on dolphins for years, and I've been totally alone. Are people finally joining on the roast of these cocky bee animals that offer the world Mm. nothing but how great they think they are? Literally the only thing of value that dolphins ever gave us was the fucking orca, and even that pretends not to be a dolphin. They're just the fucking worst. To which the OP responded, go touch grass, which is great. Uh, Mm. And (laughs) Malaika717 added, no, dolphins are just annoying. And the OP replied to that with, shut the fuck up. Cool. Again, no reason for any of these people to share any of this <laughs> stuff. <laughs> Who cares? <laughs> Why do you care if someone hates dolphins? Why do you hate dolphins? There's just shut up. <laughs> Please, both of you, shut the fuck up. Uh, yeah. Uh, it's harmful. The to conservation. To say that you don't like dolphins. Yep. Yeah. Because if you say you don't like dolphins, people are like, "Well, I guess I'll just go kill some dolphins." <laughs> just get, you know. Well, I'm gonna get. I'm gonna go buy an AR-15 and a speedboat and just go out and just blast them. Point it in the water till till <laughs> till it turns red. <laughs> just a guy with us getting a, a jet ski and just running dolphins over, just chopping them <laughs> into pieces. This is great. I hate these fucking things. Yeah. <laughs> They're annoying, so I guess I'll just kill as many as I can. Uh, what was the the orca com- orca comment? Orcas are technically porpoises; they're not actually whales. Mm. So yeah, but I th- I think dolphins are technically whales too. It's like one of those uh, some some are technically something. Yeah, that no like one calls all them frogs are toads, but not all toads are frogs or whatever. Yeah, yeah. one of those kind of things. Um, some big frogs in my yard the other day, thanks to this hurricane that passed over recently. No dolphins though; none of them showed up in my yard. <laughs> Could have smoked one. Uh, This meme was passed around various mom groups on Facebook. A man named Igor Tchaikovsky assisted in over 20,000 underwater births. Eventually, he began experimenting with women giving birth in the ocean. In 1979, we're preparing with his team for an underwater birth in the Black Sea. In a few feet of water, suddenly three dolphins approached the pregnant woman, pushed everyone out of the way, and took over. They scanned the length of her body up and down with sonar while relaxing the mother and swimming in circles around her. The mother gave birth to the child effortlessly, painlessly, and without fear. This began multiple projects with dolphin-assisted births that spread worldwide. (laughs) Mm -hmm. So we all know that worldwide phenomenon. Mm -hmm. uh, Dolphin-assisted births. uh Uh-huh. In the Black Sea, of all places, it seems like an article. <laughs> this is uh, found an article over on Newsweek in their tech and science section. Uh, Dolphin-assisted childbirth is a bad idea. <laughs> Dolphins are beautiful, highly intelligent, <laughs> magical creatures. They can follow a cuttlefish recipe, recognize themselves in mirrors, and create nicknames for their peers. But should you trust cetacean intelligence with the tall order of, say, assisting a woman in childbirth? <laughs> mm. One woman in Hawaii seems to think so. Dorina Rosen and her husband, Micah Sun Eagle, said they plan to rely on the unpaid and untrained help of dolphins to deliver their baby in the Pacific Ocean. The couple, who live on Hawaii's Big Island and run a spiritual healing center, have planned to employ their flippered midwife on the fly by showing up at the ocean once Rosen went into labor. For an added bonus, Rosen said her baby would be able to speak dolphin as a result of the immediate exposure to the animals. Mm. Uh, 
Pioneering Russian midwife Igor Tchaikovsky began assisting births in the Black Sea with dolphins that live there. Mm -hmm. A researcher assisted, assisted working with Tchaikovsky claims the babies born in the ocean reached developmental milestones such as walking and talking what? six months ahead of babies Jesus born in regular Christ. sex. Yeah, so. Uh, basically, this article goes on to say that uh, best case scenario is that your baby almost drowns. Worst case is that a dolphin <laughs> carries it off and eats it. So. <laughs> Yeah. So good luck out there to uh, Micah Sun Eagle and his crazy wife. And uh, hope a dolphin doesn't steal your baby to get raised like a Aquaman, I guess. So. Yeah, probably probably won't happen. But uh, I would say if you're about to give birth, stay away from any seas or oceans. Or <laughs> Should be all right. Uh, I would stay away from uh, the. Uh, Whatever the lagoon park at Disney. Do not go to a water park to give birth to your baby. Do not get on top of the slide and push that thing out. And then that'd be a pretty good bit, though. Yeah. It's give true. birth to the baby. The baby goes down the slide. The dad catches it at the bottom. Mm -hmm. It's a boy. <laughs> All right. There you go. So kind of on a on a theme here. Reddit user no signal 954 went to the subreddit R on popular opinion to post this. I fucking hate dolphins so much. They are fucking demons. They will rape and kill for sport without a second thought. Quote, I will, I found a baby seals. Let me torture it to death and not eat it. They are also drug addicts. Some species of dolphins are immune to puffer fish venom, and they get high off of it by intentionally getting stung over and over, usually by hitting the fish with their nose hard, eventually resulting in the puffer fish's death. They will use fish as flashlights and rape humans, resulting in the human needing to go to the hospital or death. Granted, a human being raped by a dolphin is rare, but that doesn't excuse the fact that it happens. I hate seeing people treat them like fucking saints and wonderful creatures. That's like having a crush on a serial killer. Then sharks are made out to be fucking evil, even though they kill less humans than vending machines. Mm. There are even species of sharks that act like dogs. For example, the lemon shark. The only shark that really tries to kill humans are bull sharks and tiger sharks. Dolphins are like if humans were aquatic and had no morals. Amazing Amira replied, Why would anyone ever be upset or feel hate towards an animal that is minding its own business and develop the way it's due to evolution? Maybe you don't like dolphins because they act like humans in many ways. And the OP responded, I hate humans too. I hate dolphins because they know what they're doing. It's 6 a.m. where I live and I don't want to argue, so I'm leaving it at that. <laughs> what? I don't really want to argue as I post this opinion. Uh, an opinion thread on Reddit, which is designed for people to argue with me about. So I'm just going to go ahead. I'm just going to. You know what? Fuck off. Drop the mic you. here. Yeah. Don't need to talk about this. That's <laughs> 6 a.m. where I live. Why are you responding? Why are you on? Why are you doing any of this stuff? What's going on? Here? <laughs> <laughs> just a classic. Like, you know what? No, I'm out. Not even a bother. I'm going to write way too long of an OP, of course, but then after that, nah, I'm done. <laughs> I spilled my guts for you. What more do you want from me? I laid everything out on the line. Cool. Uh, this There was an article on uh, Fox News titled, Race to Save Whales and 400 Stranded and 275 Die on New Zealand Beach. Uh, this was shared over on Facebook, where a gentleman named Brian responded. And I wonder whether these animals have stranded themselves after being physically blasted by the death screams of dolphins and other sea animals <laughs> bludgeoned to death in the coves of Japanese islands or something like that. I imagine their calls, their clicks and whistles and songs, a hum and buzz of background info rolling through seawaters, then the poor unsuspecting attack of fear, confusion, and pain, and death blasting their minds from far away, much like Spock experienced when Vulcan was destroyed. Yeah, it's exactly like that. <laughs> Four posts in, and we already got like a dangerously insane person. That's great. Mm -hmm. uh, this guy said, "Okay, these dolphins all died in mass. They sent out like a shockwave <laughs> that killed a bunch of other animals." Is that what he's saying? I think that's exactly what he's saying. <laughs> it's like, it's like, uh, like Obi Wan Kenobi. Like, oh, 
I just heard a million voices cry out at once, but it's uh, it's all these dolphins dying. Uh, boy, can you think about how your brain has to work to think that's the case, that a bunch of dolphins dying at once would kill a bunch of other pe- uh, animals? That's pretty cool. Yeah. Cool. Uh, <laughs> uh, no notes. Five stars. To yeah. Post. <laughs> Just like Spock. <laughs> Just like Just, that's the comparison you make when you read this article i thought that was whales that they were saving then those movies oh that's right i watched that movie a lot the star trek four or whatever that's okay cool <laughs> they right. went to san francisco in in the mo- modern time 1982 or whatever that's right save whales that somehow save the future uh mm-hmm. movies used to be good by the way so yep they're actually all bad now. That was the last good movie. Star Trek IV, The Voyage Home, was the yeah. last good movie made. <laughs> You're to here, folks. Mm-hmm. Uh, that's our movie review of the week. Hey, gang. Smooth Sack Summer is slowly coming to an end. And if you haven't been scaping for the summer sun, it's not too late to sweep your sack of those pesky pubes. As summer winds down and autumn approaches, keep your boys clean and fresh just in time for fresh ball fall. The leader in below-the-waist grooming is here to make sure your pubes feel smoother than a beach ball. Start the new season the right way and join over 6 million men worldwide who trust Manscaped with this exclusive offer for you. 20% off and free worldwide shipping with the code REPORT20 at manscaped.com. Hey, the Manscaped Performance Package 4.0 has everything you need to keep your jewels bejeweled. (laughs) Inside this package, you'll find the Lawnmower 4.0 trimmer, the Weed Whacker Ear and Nose Hair Trimmer, Crop Preserver Ball Deodorant, Crop Reviver Toner, Performance Boxer Briefs, and a travel bag to hold all your precious goodies. Their Lawnmower 4.0 trimmer features a cutting edge ceramic blade to reduce grooming accidents thanks to their advanced skin safe technology. The Lawnmower 4.0 has a 7,000 RPM motor, a new multifunction on off switch that can engage a travel lock, and wow. it gives you the ability to turn on a 4,000K LED spot when needed for a more precise shave. And this bad boy is waterproof. That's right, gang. Now that your sack is smooth, lather up with Manscaped's liquid formulations to get that fresh ball fall freshness. The Crop Preserver Ball Deodorant keeps your pumpkins from going rotten. The Soothing Aloe Vera Formula is the best in the business for below-the-waist freshness, and the Clear Drying Formula keeps your sack looking and smelling good. Your girl won't care about her pumpkin spice lattes when she's got your pumpkins to enjoy. (laughs) (laughs) Um, Manscaped even threw in two free gifts to their Performance Package 4.0, which is the Manscaped Boxers and the Shed Travel Bag that'll bring your comfort to another level at home and on the go. Keep yourself groomed from head to toe with their Shears 2.0, a luxury nail grooming kit. This kit includes stainless steel nail cutters, tweezers, and grooming scissors. With the Performance Package, your balls will be ready to impress, but make sure you cover the rest with the Shears 2.0. Get 20% off and free shipping with the code REPORT20 at manscaped.com. That's 20% off plus free shipping with the code REPORT20 at manscaped.com. Keep things smooth and fresh as we say sayonara to smooth ball summer and enter fresh Fresh ball ball fall. fall. (laughs) Hey, I came across an interesting account on Twitter called at video underscore 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 game. Great snag. Mm -hmm. Who tweeted this out. The Eighth Circuit is when I'm going to make and design a game that combines my love of Star Tropics, Scientology lore, and the Sega Genesis game Eco the Dolphin. Eco is the ultimate New Age video game. It's way more radical than Earthbound. Eco is the final frontier. Having delved into the Mm. roots of the past, I feel confident I will be able to begin some form of art project which allows me to combine my love of spirituality and religion with new tech for the advancement of consciousness. Great. Here's a couple more of their tweets. 
So many of the 90s style commercials focus on portrayals of someone without something. Show the product, then show someone who doesn't have it. The idea is that the lack can symbolize abundance slash presence slash having. It's one of the symptoms of the frozen society, the frozen world. Hmm. Here's another tweet. Spent some time contemplating Waterloo world, especially the snails. A great mind sees life on both macro and micro levels. Everything is connected. The tread of a bumblebee can affect the tide of combat. Really cool. Hmm. Uh, one more here. Mario loses his hat in the same way that Alice loses her name. It's because the hat has his name on it. Alice sacrifices her name over the course of her journey. And Mario has his ego, his name stolen by the vulture, which is a Buddhist icon, and Monkey, a Taoist icon. What in the world is going on here? <laughs> I think you'll find this is just a classic schizophrenic person who's been online since uh, they could read. So. Yeah. Boy, I remember that Echo the Dolphin game. That was um, that was a that was one of those games that just seemed too uh, mature, too something. advanced. For what it's like. they're just not. It was like this isn't for kids, but <laughs> but it's a video game. That was like that was like the first video game. I was like, what? It's not. But this is for like weird adults. This isn't for kids. You swim as a dolphin and then you jump and then you do. Th- yeah, I guess you like did sonar it critters and stuff but it was it was a little too weird a little too uh yeah new age would be i guess the term too much uh it wasn't all the bleeps and bloops that you expected out of a game back in 1992 or whatever <laughs> i remember playing that game and not knowing what the fuck was supposed to be happening yeah. so did not get very far in it i can tell you that much and it was all because it was all just water levels which is the worst part of any fucking video game <laughs> so it's like wow the whole game is that huh <laughs> Well, apparently this uh, video underscore per- game person on Twitter uh, has a new vision of it that combines not only Eco the Dolphin, but Star Tropics and Scientology lore. So Perfect. That, I mean, Star the Tropics. thing we've all been Good looking Lord. forward to. Star Tro- That's one of those weird, obscure video games, isn't it? Yeah, that's like the things the kids that uh, smelled bad in school would play yeah. that smelled like sweat. It's like if it's an RPG that was even more... Uh, gay than just your regular Final Fantasy or whatever. <laughs> Somehow gayer than one of the gayest <laughs> games ever made. Yep. Hey, go back and listen to our Final Fantasy episode to get more. Oh, shit, we did do that, didn't we? God, a couple, uh, couple thousand years ago. Uh, this one's from the subreddit R Conspiracy. Dolphins are an offshoot of underwater aliens. <laughs> Dolphins are extremely intelligent and granted non-human personhood. Maybe the greys are related to them and us. The gray skin and large eyes. Either way, dolphins know some shit. Hmm. User Leonard Tom said, I love dolphins, but I fucking hate sea urchins. One of them little fuckers <laughs> nearly killed me when I was a kid. I was 13 on holiday in Spain. I was in the ocean not too far out because I'm a shit swimmer. Felt this massive pain in my foot. My dad goes, stop being a pussy. You probably stood on a rock. I lie on the beach and the pain is crazy. I hobble back to my hotel. I am crying my arse off on the bed. The Spanish ambulance comes, picks me up, gets me checked out at hospital. Oh, yeah, you broke your leg, mister. I get it put in a plaster cast. Spend the rest of my holiday in agony, sat in a wheelchair. Go home and get checked by my doctor. He immediately calls an ambulance and rushes me to the ER. The venom from the sea urchin had done its work on my leg, nearly entering my bloodstream. I was told another 24 hours and I would have been dead. Uh, no upvotes or comments to that, because uh, uh, it's unrelated <laughs> to anything. <laughs> Why would you say yeah, any of that? Really cool story. Maybe if you post that over on RC Urchin. Yeah. Maybe you'll get some uh, some buy-in there. It's like, yeah, this is a thread about saying dolphins, dolphins are aliens. Dolphins are aliens. This is actually... <laughs> would be an interesting topic and the guy's like yeah one time i stopped i stepped on a thing and it really hurt <laughs> like what he <laughs> if he's just browsing reddit looking for anything related to the sea it's like i gotta tell this story it's, it's just like just like <laughs> he's like i got an aquarium at home I, uh, here we go i love fish I but i hate v. sea. it's just like a copy pasta yeah <laughs> Really weird. What would drive somebody to just do that? Uh, uh, well, I guess someone that 
peruses that subreddit probably has a couple marbles loose, I reckon. <laughs> I think any subreddit you go to, you have to be a little mm-hmm. a little wacky. Except for uh Red Scare for Cishet Men, R. I. P. What oh, was that done for? Yeah, I got locked oh, in. That's too bad. So, too bad. Can't see our favorite ego girls stolen nudes anymore. Too yep. bad. So, so. Speaking of Reddit, though, this is from Change My View. Dolphin pussy feels better than human pussy. Human pussy looks nasty. Dolphin pussy cute as fuck. I'd suck on a dolphin pussy. And the poster included a photo of a spread open dolphin vagina. So, yeah. Thank Go- you. Google that if you so want to see what that looks like. Thank you so much. So glad I saw that. Chorus Thulu Habersi One commented, probably it will smell better too. <laughs> A deleted user replied, all of this is just wrong. To which the OP of the original post said, what? Are you kink shaming me, you faggot? Ah. To which throwaway 20301 responded, LOL, shut up, you faggoty N-word. Hmm. Yeah. Uh, and it just kind of just all went on from there. So, I don't know if anyone's view was changed in that thread. <laughs> <laughs> this guy's still going to fuck a dolphin pussy and everybody else is going to be like, that boy just ain't right. And uh, and then some people are going to use the N-word. So. I'm trying to picture this at like an actual debate club in high school, this back and forth. <laughs> this is good. Just a kid get into bow ties saying shut up you faggoty n word into the microphone. <laughs> and the topic is dolphin pussy. <laughs> All right, Jeremy and Brian, you have uh four minutes each. The topic is dolphin pussy. <laughs> fuck Mary Kill, uh go. Is is fuck Mary Kill a, a standard <laughs> prompt in high school debate club? <laughs> Uh, Ro- Rosie O'Donnell, Oprah Winfrey, Inf- Winfrey, <laughs> Ellen DeGeneres, fuck yeah. Mary Kill. Hmm. Yes, to all three, to all three of them. <laughs> uh, I'll tell you what, I'm going to marry all of them. Yeah. Fuck them all, and then kill myself. Marry all of them, make him an honest woman, fine. <laughs> dude, dude. Uh, Rosie O'Donnell's really been asking to become an honest woman for a long a time. She's been a bachelorette for a little <laughs> too long. <laughs> Two two weeks in a row. Let's see if that'll be our new our new bit. <laughs> too many roommates for that one. Over the years. <laughs> for seventy years now, just tons and tons of roommates for that girl. What a good sound out with a nice boy. Ah ma. Pretty good Rosie impression. <laughs> Not bad. <laughs> ah ma, what are you talking about? It's just Ray Romano. <laughs> oh, no. oh, oh, come on, man. Man. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, boy. Good for her. <laughs> so this is another meme that I found that was making the rounds in uh, various mom groups on Facebook. The famous Italian diver Enzo Mallorca dove into the sea of Syracuse and was talking to his daughter, Rosanna, who was aboard the boat. Ready to go in, he felt something slightly hit his back. He turned and saw a dolphin. Then he realized that the dolphin did not want to play, but to express something. The animal dove and Enzo followed. At a depth of about 12 meters, there was another dolphin trapped in an abandoned net. Enzo quickly asked his daughter to grab the diving knives. Soon... The two of them managed to free the dolphin, which at the end of the ordeal emerged and issued an, quote, almost human cry. (laughs) A dolphin can stay up to 10 minutes underwater and then drowns. The released dolphin was helped to the surface by Enzo, Rosanna, and the other dolphin. That's when the surprise came. She was pregnant. The male circled him and then stopped in front of Enzo, touched his cheek like a kiss, in a gesture of gratitude, and then they both swam off. Enzo ended his speech by saying, Until man learns to respect and speak to the animal world, he can never know his true role on Earth. So there's something, in, the, uh, uh, so to speak, in the water for these uh, lady mom Facebook groups that just love talking about <laughs> dolphins treating knocked up women with such re- weird respect. <laughs> I'm trying to figure out... Who this is supposed to inspire? <laughs> what is the point of this? Like, who, who's like, uh, like another, <laughs> like 
like a guy that's like this this Italian diver who's like I'm about to hang up my flippers. Then he reads this story and he's like, yeah. No, wait. <laughs> Uh-huh. Right. Uh, maybe I'll get to be the next guy to save a dolphin. Maybe there's a mom reading this that was about to dump some toxic waste into the bay or something. She's like, you know what? Maybe, maybe I won't. She just backs her dump truck up to the edge of the bay, and she's about. She's like, let me check Facebook quick, and she sees this meme, and she's like, yeah, you know what? No, her her just uh, freelance dump truck that she. <laughs> She's just a dump truck hobbyist. Just collect trash and then dump it in the, in the ocean. For that, just for fun. Something to do. Pass the time. Yeah, I gave up my corporate job to dump it's, trash into the ocean for six of, hours a week. It's a new Uber kind of service. <laughs> Except she doesn't, no one orders it. She just goes to their house and grabs their garbage and then dumps it in the ocean. I'll be taking this. Thank you. I know a beautiful ocean this could go right into right now. That is a funny bit. <laughs> like, just stalking the neighborhood when someone puts their cans by the road and just driving up to it quickly, <laughs> grabbing it. 16 ton <laughs> jump truck to pick. And immediately dumping it right in the ocean. All of it. <laughs> yeah, you know, you know, she, you know ever since the, Bethany started dumping trash in the ocean, our sex the, life has been great. <laughs> going to the boat slip and just like backing up into it. <laughs> <laughs> oh good hey speaking of moms though this was posted to the most popular site in the uk for parents mumsnet by user otherwise cool i am angry and sick and tired of how dolphins try and make out they are nice and friendly and cute when they are anything but they are one of the most aggressive species in the animal kingdom, regularly involved in gang rapes of other dolphins that sometimes go on for days. They also kill their own children so that the mother pays more attention to her husband dolphin so he can have sex with her without being distracted by her children. And they are also aggressive to humans when nobody is looking. An example, in the sea when nobody is around, not when they have an audience like at a SeaWorld Center. But everyone says, oh, dolphins are so cute and so friendly, but they're not. I think it's because they look like they're always smiling and laughing that people think they are cute. But to me, they look like they have evil eyes and cackling rather than laughing. People say alligators and crocodiles and snakes are evil. What about dolphins? People only see the tame ones that like to show off to humans and do tricks and let us swim at them and stroke them and think all dolphins are like that. But the one in the wilds are different matter altogether. Plus, people say that dolphins are clever because they use clicks to communicate with each other. Has nobody stopped to think that maybe they're clicking and conspiring amongst themselves? I'm actually fuming, only because I just got back from someone showing holiday pics, and they were going on and on about the dolphins and how they were so cute. And I told them dolphins aren't cute, and they're dangerous. And why do they swim with them and pet crocodiles? They didn't get why it's the same, but any animal can turn against you. And I even saw footage of a dolphin purposely try to drown a human and drag them underwater. And they also kill other baby sea animals and play volleyball with them and don't even eat them or are threatened by them. They just do it for a laugh. Why are they seen as friendly animals? Uh, user Pawnee Parks Department replied, have you been on the sauce? Yeah. You got to think so, because again, why are people <laughs> just... <laughs> just four paragraphs talking about how just dolphins gonna, suck. I'm going to take 20 minutes... To, to type out my passionate uh, feeling on dolphins and how much I hate them uh, that no they're, one asked for. They're fuming, too. I'm actually <laughs> fuming. Actually, like, pacing getting, the room. It's so mad as you're writing it. Like, getting yourself more and more upset. Like, okay. All right, now I'm pissed right, off. You know what? You know what? Just scrolling through each picture, vacation, was like, you've got to be fucking kidding me. <laughs> you've you oh my fucking god <laughs> these pieces of shit <laughs> all right we're gonna stop right here because we're gonna finish the rest of this episode over on patreon.com slash report this post that's right if you enjoyed this first 20-ish to 30-ish minutes of the episode you'll be happy to know that there's about an hour extra of this one over there uh, on patreon.com slash report this post head over there and all you got to do is subscribe for five bucks a month you'll get every single full episode with dozens of more posts a month 
plus an additional bonus episode every single week. Unbelievable. This is literally millions of posts that we read on the air uh, every single month. Possibly billions. I have not counted. In fact, I can't count. I'm actually illiterate as well. But irregardless, patreon.com slash report this post, and we'll see you over there, and God bless. <laughs>